Welcome to News 3. I'm Zach Dahlheimer. Here's what's topping our headlines. State police are investigating a deadly head on crash that happened Saturday afternoon on Harborview Boulevard. Police tell us they tried to stop a Honda after a possible violation, but the Honda did a U-turn and started driving on the wrong side of the road before hitting a Lexus. We're told a Portsmouth man, Samuel Yore, was driving the Honda and he died on impact. Meanwhile, the driver of the Lexus was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Yore was wanted on three felony warrants out of Chesapeake and was armed at the time of the crash. Hampton Bros has been coming together ahead of Thanksgiving to make sure our local communities have food on the table. For the last few weekends, the Hells Angels have been at Kroger in Chesapeake collecting food and cash for the Mayflower Marathon. We're also at Pembroke Mall. Now, donations have been going to the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Eastern Shore. And organizers say so far they've received more than 1,000 frozen turkeys and, listen to this number, $100,000 in cash donations. And local runners took their mark, got set, and ran in Norfolk Sunday. Athletes took to the streets for the 8th annual Norfolk Harbor Race Weekend. Nearly 3,500 people ran the tour of Norfolk. The race brought out runners from all over the Commonwealth, along with 37 other states as well. A Norfolk man won the half marathon, and a Virginia Beach woman took home the fastest time on the women's side. After crossing the finish line, those taking part were treated to a celebration at the post-race party in Town Point Park. And now let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, we have two cold fronts that are on the way, so ahead of that we'll be staying cloudy and pretty mild for the night tonight. We'll have temperatures only dropping a few more degrees into the lower 50s. We start to see some rain moving in about 6 a.m. That's going to be impacting your morning commute tomorrow as well as into the afternoon. Then very cold on Tuesday. Temperatures in the mid 40s, but we rebound in time for Thanksgiving looking like a